Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Bienvenidos. So last week we did a test which was multiple choice for beginners. This week we're doing a test which is create zero. the sentences. Zero. No help. You do. Zero it. choice. Exactly. <laughs> zero choice. Yeah. This what is was the sentence with the something or lump it? Like it or lump it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> like it or lump it. Okay, so there are 10 sentences. We're going to give you them in English and you've got to create them in Spanish. This is the biggest challenge that we have. Mm. Going from Spanish into English, well, not so difficult, but going from English to Spanish is a challenge. So, 10 sentences. Okay, I will say that these sentences are tricky okay mm -hmm. they're not the average regular sentence that you know how to translate we've chosen them on purpose because yes. they're tricky yes pues hablamos de todo en la segunda parte vale pues vamos a comenzar el test para beginners beginners Sí, beginners quizá... A dos. Sí, a uno, a dos. A dos. Vale. Frase número uno. It's me. It's me. No options. You have to come up with the translation. <laughs> well, this is really interesting sentence because it was one of my big mm. mistakes, okay? Mm. It's me. It's me. The answer is soy yo. Soy yo. Soy yo. Soy yo. Not es yo. Mm -hmm. Y no es mí. Es mí. Mm -hmm. también, también he escuchado eso. Uh -huh. Muy común. I used ¿Sí? to leave voice messages. Es yo. <laughs> Gordon. Well, we, we can understand, but sure. it's incorrect, obviously. Mm -hmm. Soy yo. ¿sí? Soy yo. Número dos. I'm 30 years old. I wish. <laughs> I bet you wish even all. more. <laughs> Just cut me down the middle I'm and then 30, I'll get there. I'm 30 years old. So how are you going to say that? I would say, yo tengo 30 años. Eso es, tengo uh -huh. 30 años. Yeah. So we, we have the age, we're not the age. In English you say, I am. Yo soy say, I 30. Have. I have it. Exactly. See? Exactly. I own it. <laughs> vale. Um, número tres. I like it a lot. Mm. And it's this it that's tricky, mm. isn't it? Don't say anything. Oh, okay. Don't say anything. So I would say, what Don't would you say? Pistas. I would say, me gusta mucho. Me gusta mucho. Very, very common error to say me lo gusta sure. because of the it. I understand because in English you say I like it. Yeah. But in Spanish, we, you don't have to put the it because gusta is already third person. Exactly. It is pleasing to me. To me. So it pleases is gusta exactly. and then me. Yeah. The gusta does the job of the, of the it. Mm -hmm. Eso es muy bien. And then a lot, mucho. Yeah. Mucho. And it's just mucho because it's a lot in general. It's not a, a lot a specific, like muchas mesas or muchos hombres, just mucho. That's right. That would be a lot of. A lot, a lot of, of something. Yeah. Muchos or muchas. It depends, depending mm -hmm. on the gender. Vale, número cuatro. It's hot outside. Mm. Which is true. Mm -hmm. Which is no true. No tanto ahora, eh? No tanto. It's hot outside. Okay, so how have you made that? So I would say, hace calor fuera o afuera. Hace calor fuera. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hace calor. Muy bien. So in again, you would say it is hot, and we say it makes. It makes heat. It makes heat. It makes heat. Exactly. Okay. Número cinco. It's here in my hand. Mm. Okay, so which it? <laughs> I would say está aquí en mi mano. Muy bien. Again, this is this is for me now. Is it in my hand or is it on my hand? 
in Spanish, in mi mano. And obviously it's going to be here. It's going to be... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Even but if you do this or that or that, it's still there. <laughs> anyway, because we, we... It's our personal fight. We cup our hand, so there's like a ball of thing. It's in. It's in. If it was on our hand, it would be like a stain on my hand. Again, if you say, this is spider on my hand. Yeah? On my hand, yeah. Hay una araña en mi mano. Obviously. Ah, but you could say, I've got a spider in my hand. I'm holding it. I'm cupping it. Vale. Yeah, but I've got a spider on and my hand. Say, I have no sujeta- choice of mine. <laughs> Estoy sujetando una araña. In my fist, you could say. <laughs> and uh-huh. just fist. We always have like a personal fight about um, pro- prepositions. Yeah, in English. Is, yeah. Yeah, in English. They, they are we, a little bit fight. difficult in English. We, they, we they, do. don't, <laughs> they don't always make sense. But I make sense of them. Oh, with my little that. analogies of, well, you've got to cut it, you're holding it. <laughs> holding it within. It's within. My favourite is on the inside. That's on my favourite. That's my favourite. On the inside. <laughs> Where is it? On? And I used to, I used to like uh, what uh, Terry Wogan used to say when he, he would say, uh, with a food, he said, uh, get yourself on the outside of that on food. On the outside of on that, On the outside yeah. of that food, yeah. Muy bien, vale. Número... Eh, uh, número seis. Mm-hmm. I'm hot. I'm hot. I'm hot. Mm. As in temperature. Temperature, yeah. yeah. No, that I'm hot. Like... I'm hot. <laughs> Stay bueno. I mean, just translate. Stay bueno. <laughs> translate both of them. Why not? <laughs> I'm hot. Yeah, there's one that you can use a lot with yeah. people, and then there's one that you probably want to just share. Acceptable. Share it with <laughs> your partner. Acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> vale, I'm hot. So. Okay. What would you say? So what would you say? I would say. Tengo calor. Tengo calor. I have Tengo heat. Cal- I have heat. Inside of me, yeah, like, I have heat. Exactly. Or what about I'm hot, as in, mm, I'm hot. I mean, not that you would use that a lot, but... Okay, yeah, well, you, you could say, say uh, estoy bueno. Estoy bueno, that's it. Estoy bueno. That's what we did last week, with estar bueno. Yeah, so estoy bueno, well, I would say estoy buena. Uh-huh. Obviously, female, estoy buena, male, estoy bueno. Vale. Número siete. She's a happy woman. Ah, oh, okay. Hmm. This is something that we talk about in our book on Ser en Estar because it causes lots of confusion. So I would say, es una mujer feliz. Muy bien. Mm-hmm. Es una mujer feliz. Perfecto. We're saying in Spanish, like she's don't happy. Okay. Don't get no, ahead of right. yourself. Wait, wait until I, uh, number do eight. The number eight. She's happy. So that one, I would say, está contenta o está feliz. O está feliz. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now you can. So explain. now, now I can explain myself. <laughs> in English, we say. She's a happy woman. We put happy beforehand, so our mind saying, "Oh, well, we'll, you know, we'll have to." It must be a a thing that we use with estar, for example. But when you say in Spanish, you say she's a woman, happy. So whenever you're saying she's a woman, there's no choice. You've got to use ser. It's a description. Yeah. Of the person, you're not describing state of being. No. Which would be estar. Like she's happy, she's sad, she's angry. There's a state of being, but because you're describing the person, then we use ser. Exactly, exactly. So whenever you get those sentences like, um, "It's a big car," "He's a tall man," you, you describe yeah. he's a man. He, it's a car. Yeah. So that's your description, ser. Yeah. Yeah, and it, and also with the a, the a is also the giveaway. Like, she's a something person mm-hmm. instead of she's happy yeah. she's a happy person exactly yeah yeah vale numero nueve I know I know oh, I yeah know. I know oh, I, <laughs> I know. know okay so that one I would say the two versions lo sé and yo lo sé mm-hmm. yeah also, another possibility would be yo sé, 
But, because I've heard that in other countries in Latin America, uh-huh. yo sé. In Spain, it would be lo sé. That would be the normal one. Yeah. Lo sé. I know it. Yeah. Lo sé. Yeah. Sé on its own wouldn't be possible because it's... I know, but then you would need to say what. It's an unfinished, I know, unfinished sentence. I know. And it's like, it feels like I know... What? What do you know? Yeah. Yo sé que... The same as yo sé. sé. Que yeah. Normally you're going to give more. But lo sé, full stop. Yes. But it's true that in some Latin American countries, it's more common to hear than in Spain. I mean, because it's not very common to hear yo sé, full stop. In Spain, would be yo sé plus what you know. Ah. Or sé plus what you know. If you just want to say I know, full stop, lo sé. I know it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Y número 10. I love you. Mm. I love you. I love you. Two options. Two options. Two options. If we're talking about the love that I feel for my beautiful wife. Well, three options, really. Well, okay. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Yes. Uh huh. For this woman. <sighs> then I love you is te amo. Eso es, te amo. Mm-hmm. Muy bien. And then if you're talking about love. In general, it can be also. For it you. can also, also be. be I'd yeah. say, yeah. te quiero. Te quiero, te quiero is also, yeah, uh-huh. love. Yeah. yeah, te quiero. And also, I suppose we could say, me encantas. Me encantas, yeah, for example, that, yes, it's different types, I, I guess. Some you can use in the same context, but not all of them you can use in all of the contexts. No. If you use the verb amar, you wouldn't use that with your friends and family. It's not typical to say te amo to your Sister. friends and family, for mm-hmm. example. You would say te quiero, or you could say me encantas. Yeah, like, you're such a great person. But like that, that love is, you know when we say, oh, I love ice cream. Yeah. I love ice cream. That's that kind of that love. That kind of, oh my God, you're great. Oh, I love you. Me encantas. Mm-hmm. Amar. I would use with somebody, for example, in a relationship. I use it with my children as well, mm. but because they're little. When they're older, I wouldn't say to them, oh, te amo, because would, I don't know, maybe it's a point that you go, right, this is... <laughs> <laughs> don't this say is that to me, weird. mom. Don't yeah. say that to me, mom. So what was your but, third option? Did you have a third option? Oh, me gustas. Ah, me gustas. Uh-huh. But that would be more, I like you, wouldn't it? I like, I like you, you, I fancy you, you, perhaps, yeah. yeah. Oh, you pues. are awful, but I like you. <laughs> Only people of a certain age will remember that. <laughs> Dick <Well>. Emery. <laughs> pues ese es el test de beginners. Muy bien, muy bien. A uno, a dos. A dos. How did you do? A bit more challenging when you've got to make your own sentences. How did you do out of ten? How many did you get? And please, if you liked this contest... Contest. Contest. This a contest. Contest. A contest. content (laughs) please click like and we'll continue to do more if you liked it sure and anything that you didn't get right do a search you got wrong (laughs) you got got wrong yeah yeah just to make that clear yeah if it's not right it's wrong and also go on go on our website or on YouTube and search our videos for that particular subject you'll find a ton we've got tons of free content yeah, all maybe, for you. Maybe you can put the link to our website so they can... I'll see. show them. Mm. Okay. Muy bien, chicos. Pues muy bien. Eso es todo. Ahora nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego. Adiós. Adiós.